Hi, and thank you for watching us here at Tax Talk UK, where we talk about all things tax and um, consider other important aspects of working for yourself, being self-employed, running a small business. So today I'm going to answer the question as to what sick pay is available for the self-employed. Um, before I do, if I could please ask if you're new here, please do take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you'll easily be able to refer back to this information if you should need to, as well as being able to access a whole host of other information that we have um, on, on topics that are all aimed to support you in your self-employment. You will find them loosely catalogued in the playlist section of our YouTube channel to help you to navigate to the information that's going to be most relevant to you. So um, back then to um, not being able to work um, due to sickness if you are self-employed. So um, the first thing to distinguish is it's important to know what your trading style is. Um, if you are trading as a limited company and you are an employee of your limited company, then um, that is not what we're talking about um, today. You would in that scenario, you would be um, you'd look at the eligibility for um, employees um, um, sort of support. Um, so what I'm going to be talking about today is those self-employed people that are trading as a sole trader. Um, so you're um, you're unable to work. You've perhaps you're ill or you've um, you've you've had some sort of injury and you're not able to work, what happens? So, um, so statutory sick pay then is something that's paid by an employer. And um, a as a sole trader, you don't have an employer. So you're not eligible for statutory um, sick pay, but that doesn't mean that there's not any um, help available to you. Um, if you are self-employed and you have been paying um, national insurance for, um, a couple of years, then you should um, check if you're eligible for employment and support allowance. So this is a benefit that is available to, to people that aren't eligible for, um, for statutory sick pay. Um, and you may be um, you may be able to um, apply for this if you are either in a situation where you're no longer able to work due to your health or whether you're temporarily um, unable to um, to work. So it's um, there's the sort of various elements of it there. Um, so these days uh, it's a new style um, ESA. Um, so previously there was um, different different sort of scenarios, different eligibility, different things that impacted. So if you're already claiming, it could be that you have one of those older styles and then you should check um, your situation as relevant to that. So this um, the, the what I'm talking about today is for people who are um, who are operating as a sole trader who are now for the first time finding themselves in a situation where they're um, unable to work and they're asking, um, you know, is there any is there any support for me? Well, I'm um, I'm not able to to work. And for that purpose, if you are eligible for um, employment and support allowance benefit, then um, if your application is approved, you will be placed into um, two different um, groups. And that is um, basically the people who are no longer able to work due to their um, health or medical conditions and the people who are just temporarily um, unable to um, to to work. Um, so the um, if you are eligible and you apply and your application is um, accepted, then you um, you will receive your payment every every two weeks, um, and the rate if it if if you're in the group in the work related group, which basically means that you are only temporarily unable to um, to work, 
you'll get um, just a little bit less than you would get if you were an employee receiving statutory um, sick pay. Now, the other thing to consider in this scenario is that um, if you are an employee and you're receiving statutory sick pay from your um, employer, because your employer is responsible for paying that um, to you, it's it's a much quicker um, process, a much more straightforward um, process. If you are a sole trader and you're unable to work um, temporarily because of your um, health, you will need to um, put an application in. Um, you, if you're entitled, you will receive um, payments during the assessment um, period. And if you're still owed money, if you are assessed and um, you haven't been paid enough, it will be backdated. But the thing to remember is there will be there will be an assessment period. So as a sole trader, it is always, um, you know, sort of sensible to um, have some reserves that will cover you for a short amount of time if you are unable to work. Of course, you may have some um, insurances, some medical insurances or some um, income protection um, covers. And of course, you should also explore um, explore those uh, options too. So this is really more to answer the question in the scenario, I am a sole trader and um, I'm not able to work temporarily, do I get any sick pay? So the um, actual answer is no, you're not entitled to statutory sick pay because that's for employees, but potentially you, there is a benefit that you could be entitled to, which is um, em employment and support allowance. So you certainly should check the eligibility criteria and if you feel that you will be um, or you may be eligible for that then um, I'm going to pop the link in the description and that um, has the details of how to submit your um, application but obviously in a in a sort of future proofing planning um, stage then just be aware that um, it's it's not as straightforward if you are a, a sole trader to receive help so you should of course make your own um, provision um, to make sure that if you're not able to work that you'll that you, you will have um, sufficient income to um, to manage or you've got savings to cover that or you've got some sort of insurance that um, is going to um, to cover you and in the same way as um, when we just talked about um, statutory sick pay um, just be mindful with um, insurances it's a complex um, thing make sure that when you're purchasing any insurances that they know the full um, your full circumstances and that you take advice if applicable um, from somebody that's qualified to give you that advice and then the other thing to say is that um, so we're talking about employment and support allowance ESA um, because that is the, um, I guess, the um, the sole trader equivalent of um, statutory sick pay. But if you find that that's not sufficient um, to, to help you, then, of course, you, there are um, benefits calculators on gov.uk that will help you to navigate if there are um, any other um, benefits that may sort of support you during during that time. And it can be very complex. Um, it can be very complicated to work out which um, benefit is appropriate for you. Um, some benefits you can have simultaneously. Um, and so if you're not sure um, uh, what benefits um, you are able to apply for, you may be eligible for, um, then you should um, contact the job centre who will be able to, um, to help you to navigate this. So, um, Hopefully that helps you to understand um, that if you are um, trading as a sole trader and that you are unable to work through um, sickness or through your health or for medical reasons, either temporarily or long term, that the help that you need to explore is um, employment support allowance. But depending on your individual circumstances, there may be other support available for you to um, to explore. So thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.